Trust the Profits, kicking it old school. Hello, everyone. Trust the Profits here. I'm the Formula, joined as always by El Ombre. How's it going, El Ombre? It's going great, man. Spa week, Saratoga opening week. <laughs> Getting a little excited. I and that's why we're here today. Yeah. It's kind of like the intro to the summer for horse racing. So let's let's do it. What are we doing today? We are doing opening night, opening day of Saratoga, July 14th. We're going to go through and talk through each race. We've got them capped out, at least pre-scratch. So right. ran it through our formulas. We got kind of an idea for what we're projecting for each race. And we're just kind of kind of tell you what we see. The reason I said this was old school is uh, this is kind of where we cut our teeth when we were doing podcasts back in the day, we used to talk about a whole slate of races coming up on our podcast. We really hadn't done that in a while. We kind of started doing different things on YouTube with it not being derby More season. focusing thought, on one race versus a whole card, right? So Yeah, exactly. Focusing on a specific derby prep race, single horses, et cetera. Now we're just going to go through the whole thing. Before we get and started, And kind of though, handcuffing my obnoxiousness yeah. too, I think, right? Like kind of handcuffing the obnoxiousness that I am. We, we, and we tried to rein that in a little bit by uh, and not just you, a lot of race. people, a lot of the commenters and uh, yeah. people who have subsequently unfollowed and such. But that's fine. Yeah. We're good. Let's go. Yeah. Let's um, see what people think here. Feel free to leave comments below down below here and feel free. Yeah, to I'll, I'm subscribe. sure I'll make a lot of friends, a lot of friends I'll make tonight. So let's go. Yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah. So uh, why don't you bring up the races? We'll start scrolling through them. Yeah, we'll uh, share the screen, which is going to be immaculate if I can do it right. And there we go. Oh, so race beautiful. one. So race one, game. opening day, Saratoga. A lot of people are excited. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are excited. Everyone's excited. Come on. Um, what do we think is going to happen here? So per my notes, um, I've got Auburn Hills, number three horse there, jumping out in front. I've got him as having a pace advantage in this race. I don't think he's going to win, though. I'm. I'm a Kershaw fan here. I think Kershaw's going to pull it out four to one, the nine horse. Geo Acre, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. I'm someone could be laughing at me in the other end here. The seven horse, I've got him as my number two at uh, five over two, and then the third horse I've got here, Bear Alley, is the favorite at five to two, seven to two for Geo Acre. Sorry about that. I'm going Geo Care. I don't know. Geo Care is that how you say it? Geo Care. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's where I'm going here. It's a bit chalky. I like Kershaw on top. I like the way Geo Acre closes. I could add in Royal Trust, too, if we're talking about extending this out. we got nine horses. So there's a good chance that the the chalk of the top three are, are uh, not winning here. But, but if I'm going to pick one, I've got Kershaw. All right. And we're going to go into the race one. First irrelevant metric, PG-13 version. Uh, Auburn Hills is the irrelevant metric horse, the three, which is which ironically was your choice to win here. No, Shout no, out to no it's my choice Palace. to take take the lead early and set the pace, not my choice to to win. Auburn. Shout out to the Malice at the Palace, Ron Ron Artest, Meta World Peace, Stephen Jackson coming up into the stands in I don't know what year that was. I'm gonna say 2004, Four. I don't know, somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah. Up there beating up the crowd, throwing beers at each other. Mm -hmm. A wild mm -hmm. night down there in Auburn Hills, Michigan, just a few miles down the road from where we grew up. Yep. So, you know, good times. There's, a, I think there's a Netflix or some uh, ESPN 30 for 30 or something going around. I'm sure. Good show. If you haven't seen that one, check that out. Auburn Hills for you. That's that's your relevant metric. And that's how we roll with the relevant metrics. And again, wow. that was the PG-13. Wow. Feels good to get one of those off. Yeah. And wow, that could have that could have gone a lot worse. I mean, some of yeah, your relevant see, metrics it. are that's pretty a, dark and nasty. No, nah, I figured we'd get started. I don't want people to quit on the uh, the video already, which will happen. Yeah. Trust me, people are gonna disengage real quick on these next ones. Go ahead. All right, so our next race, uh, we got a six horse race here, five furlongs, two year olds, um, maiden special weight. There's really two horses here to consider. They're both really chalky under under two to one morning lines, chocolate gelato is the favorite in the six hole. Uh, Irad in the mount, Pletcher's the trainer. I I would be fading this horse simply because I don't like how Irad sometimes burns out maidens. 
Uh, but with it being Pletcher, with him training up to five furlongs, I think this might be a case where the chalk does win. The next horse up is um, 1.8, half a chance in the one hole. Uh, Velasquez is the the jockey, Ward's the trainer. W- w- I think it's between those two. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, odds wise, slight advantage to half a chance, but it's really between those two. I think this is an area where you could single one in in your pick five, um, flip a coin between the two. I probably end up going with chocolate gelato, but right now the metric is leaning a little bit towards half a chance. The one thing we have noticed in the two to three years we've been doing this is that I rat Ortiz on a heavy, heavy favorite, <laughs> not usually a great look. But yeah. when he's on a Pletcher horse, he's not going to screw that up. That's too good of a relationship. Right. Um, like That's said, one of the things holding me back from saying. Away and just crush here. I mean, and these are these are uh, two-year-olds, so yeah. you never know what's going to happen. But uh, a relevant metric race, too. Yeah. I have the three horse. Will be famous. Will be famous. And, uh, yeah. Did you know, real quick, did you know um, metric here for these horses? Yeah. Many, many serial killers take action on their darkest thoughts to feed their need to be famous. I'm going to give you a few examples. Zodiac, Son of Sam Killer, BTK, which stands for Bind, Torture, Kill. They all interacted on a high level with uh, local news. Large, large, eventually they all got to uh, craving the attention of the media, got to large media outlets and reporters to gain fame through their, uh, I don't know, their reign of terror. So just a real quick metric on the will be famous. Moving along, let's go. So you're starting to get the idea of what we do with the irrelevant metrics. This is a larger field here, race three. Wow. What we got? I'm still, I'm still recovering from that. Uh, it's going to get worse, so oh, stick God. to it. All right. Um, this is a race, in my opinion, very scary. I'm looking at the odds across here. Uh, you can go like eight horses deep, and you're still getting six to one. So it's not great in terms of it being 11 horses and hoping to get some sort of deal here. Very even. Uh, my favorite horse here is the three horse Takafumi at six to one. Pretty good deal here on, on Takafumi. I like the way he closes um, in the three hole. You got Gaff Leon, uh, Michael Maker horse. Uh, this is going to be my top horse here. Other horses I got to round out my top three. Got the number nine, <clears throat> which is Grand Journey. And six, The uh, I got Attentive. Both of them pretty strong horses. I like the way Attentive closes out. Great speed numbers on Grand Jury. Um, those are your, probably your top three horses. Expect a few cuts here. There's three horses that currently don't have a rider, including the favorite, Hammer and Aimer. So I expect at least a couple of those horses to get cut. Maybe they find a rider along the way, but we'll see. The, so that's my top three, three, nine, six. Yeah, the race is a little up in the air until they... Uh... You know, until we know the weather and everything else. So, yeah, we'll be there. A relevant metric race three, uh, the seven Tiberius Mercurius. Yes, we've great seen name. A, we've seen, yeah, it's a, that horse has been around. Saez m- maker joint here. Yeah, yeah. But that's not why he's on my irrelevant metric list. Why he's on there? He's a grand. Uh, in reality, he's a grandson of uh, a named after Emperor Tiberius. Oh, there you go. Who's Blood a lines. cousin of another emperor, a more well-known emperor named Caligula. And if you're not familiar with Caligula, uh, one famous story that he did, one of the worst humans ever, as far as rape and murder go, uh, one famous story, there was a game similar to like at the time Olympic Games uh, where he was presiding. Uh, basically, he said to he, he said to have, and nobody knows facts, I mean, it's a long time ago, to order his guards to go into a certain section of the audience and basically start pulling random people out and throwing them into a crowd to be eaten by wild beasts in front of the crowd because he was, quote-unquote, bored. So uh, there's a real quick Caligula reset, also very uh, renowned for his sexual appetite in unfavorable ways. I mean, that that is what it is, but we don't have to dwell on that for too much longer with uh, Tiberius Mercurius. Like you said, great name. Let's move along. We'll go to race four, and we'll go from there. Forgot how much I missed this. All right, moving this along. This is why we stopped doing it, guys. I mean, yeah, yeah. A little difference of opinion. A couple requests for it, and here I go. And, and now you're remembering why we stopped. Ten furlongs. This is going to be a long one on turf. Uh, my 
my pick here, it's going to be the chalky favorite. Um, well, sorry, not the favorite. The favorite is under two, but two to one remote. Uh, Yoel Rosario, Clement is the trainer. Uh, ran some of the best hot speed trainer, figures. By the way. Hot trainer, hot trainer. Ran some of the best speed figures. I like his numbers on turf. In terms of my next up vintage year, has a little bit of a pace advantage here. He could be a pace setter at 10 furlongs. I doubt that really helps him out, but I also like um, how he's gained ground at some of the end of some of his races. Uh, and then number five, rounding it out, I've got Grand K as my my third horse. Got sugar, sugar Three, training four, that horse. Mm-hmm. So uh, race four, a relevant metric as we move along. We yeah. have Snow's Island of the six horse. All right. Can't Candy do much Carmouche with this. On the, in the irons. That's um, right. Speaking of islands, one of our good friends to the program, Fly yeah. P, Fly uh, P. hasn't been on in a while. We got to get, get Fly P back. He's, he's, we used to uh, pull him in for these episodes, yeah. yeah. We haven't uh, had him on camera yet, have we? Yeah, we have. We, we've had oh. him on a couple of times early on, right. maybe two All or right. three. You know, it's been a while, but uh, Fly P. speaking of islands, he likes to visit a certain island that was recently featured in a Netflix, maybe it was a... Netflix, HBO documentary, I can't remember Uh for sure, but a real crime documentary. Uh, He says his good friend Jeffrey used to throw some awesome parties out there on that island. So Uh uh, haven't heard from him in a while, but we're going to go ahead and move along from that one. Snow's Island just makes me think of that one. Mm. And we'll go along to race five. What do you got for race five? Race five. Bringing it. Bringing it. Bringing the heat. Uh, my top pick is number two, Catching Cupid. Got a 10 horse race here, six furlongs on dirt, Catching Cupid. Rosario again, you know, it's it's hard to pass up Rosario when he wins, you know, 30% of the time or whatever, 20% of the time. Yeah, uh, you got to play him in at least a couple times during your, uh, your stint here. So I got number two, Catching Cupid, my next horse up. You want to get a deal here? I like sensible conclusion. The number five horse getting ten to one now. Like the speed figures on him. Um, not exactly Cancel sure why he's getting ten to, to one here. Upward too, right? Eric Cancel seems to be trending really well lately. He he's got his moments. I, I would say overall, he doesn't win at a twenty percent clip like no, some of these jockeys he, he seems do. to be trending though that way. Yeah, yeah, and I think his his uh, win place show is probably around 44 percent right now which is good. He's, he's getting a few good rides. Um, I think this could be another good one for him here too. At, at 10 to one, I'm, I'm shocked. This horse I think had some of the better speed figures. I, I like the way it closes. I'm shocked that it's getting 10 to one here. That could be your, your best deal. Um, other than him, I've also got number six, cold Walker at six to one. That's my third horse. Kendrick Carmouche. One of the faves in the program. All right, go easy, go easy on me. I mean, the heart okay, can only race. take so much. Well, we're gonna we're gonna tighten it up. Not yet, though. Oh, so, God. race five, I actually had the same. Uh, catching Cupid is the re- irrelevant metric. All right, All uh, right. The, the two horse. Catching and Cupid. not for the reasons you mentioned, but oh, speaking of documentaries, yeah, another recent documentary. This time, I'm almost positive it was on HBO Max. All right. Shout out HBO Max. Is this a Valentine's Day documentary or something? Catching uh, kind of. Okay. Yeah, kind of. Cool. Nice uh, little love story. Okay. It's, it's, it very much fits the topic of uh, Catching Cupid. All right. There's a, there was a divine man named Warren Jeffs who uh, at some point asked his followers to keep sweet, pray, and obey. If you're not familiar with his work, maybe Google Warren Jeffs and take a look. And we're going to move on. Yeah, to race that? number six. Run race number race six. six. What do we got here? This is a big field. Or this is a, a huge field. field. Yeah. So, um, Warren Jeffs, thank you for getting that image in my head. Yeah. Go ahead. Google that. If you have yeah. It. Thank you. Uh, 14 horses in this field. We're expecting some changes. Christ here. and Latter day Stance. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be one of those fields where, um, Definitely, if you're playing exotics, go long on this race. It's very even. There's a few horses in here that I think could make some noise. Right now, my top three is pretty chalky. I've got uh, Life Changer at 14. He's 5-2. to two. My next up, I like the way this horse closes as well. King R- Moon Racer at 7-2. to two, And then rounding it out at 3-1, to one, Just Say When. Those are my top three. I know, fairly chalky. Uh, if I am going to throw in some extra horses here, I, I like the eight at six to one. 
I know. I'm not digging and finding like some, Doug some Stanhope. gems here. Fast and, and Furious, the five at six to oh one as God. well. But I mean, you know, there's so many horses that are under 10 to one here. It's hard to find like a, a nice double digit figure that, that we think could pay off. Does Fast and Furious maybe equate in the worst horse names of all time? I mean, that is incredible. I mean, it could have been a, the it worst been, movie franchise ever. Then yeah, they then they go with the cutesy spelling of it too to make it even worse. Could have been worse. Could have been a kitten's joy. Uh, <sighs> yeah, but at least kitten's joy is like the winning fear, horse. Fast and oh, furious. Oh, that's that's where point. I'm going. That's I liked it. Yep, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a different direction than I went with the irrelevant metric, and we're gonna ease oh, off of the uh, way too yeah. serious stuff. You know, just make it fun for the kids. Yeah. Uh, U.S. Steel, the six is my my choice for the. Oh, there we go. Metric. There we go. Uh, shout out Hyman Roth if you're not familiar with the Godfather trilogy. <laughs> God, yes. Uh, Godfather two. There was a, a famous quote. One of my favorite quotes. Yeah. Is when their uh, cocaine and heroin ring becomes so large, and they're you know they're selling down in Havana, Cuba. Yeah. That Hyman's quoted as saying, "Michael, we're bigger than U.S. Steel." Whoa. Moving along. That. See, uh, this guy's a movie buff. He's not just a serial killer fan. Pull Let's go. Movie quotes. Race yeah. what? What are we on? Race I don't know. Seven. We're on race seven. Yes. Keep, okay. I got to keep them in line here. Let's go. Race seven. Absolutely. Uh, we got and a by little... the way, that last race had so many great options to go with uh, the metric. Oh. That... <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure <laughs> you had seven race. more serial killers. I wanted to just... I wanted to wick it down, though, because there was way too many, um, quote unquote, serious topics in those first few. Yes. But, We'll get yeah. that back in gear here in a minute. It's getting pretty heavy. Agreed. Okay. Yeah. Um. So this next race up here, eight furlongs on dirt. I'm going to go with the number one horse, Goddess of Fire, here in terms of class. I think she outclasses the rest of them here. Uh, Velasquez, Pletcher, that doesn't hurt either. If I'm going to go for my next horse, I've got Irad and Pletcher with Amore. Uh, the number nine horse getting five to one pretty good odds for for what i consider a pretty strong horse with a, a great jockey trainer combo rounding it probably out won't go off at five to one if i'm being honest but what's that probably won't go off at five to one if i'm being yeah. honest but let's hope for it there's there's three horses ahead of them in terms of morning line the the six the seven right. and the the one as i mentioned um, there's three Pletcher horses in this race. There's a Cox horse. I mean, the, the chances are maybe he will. There's a Chad Brown horse as well. Gina Romantica, if you want to throw out a reference to the mouse, that, not the mouse that roared. Oh, it's a different Peter Sellers movie that's going to come to mind any Whoa. moment now. Yeah, I'm digging don't some Peter Sellers don't, don't here. We're digging now. Some Peter yeah. Sellers dorky resets. <sighs> dorky? Come on. I'm going back to classic cinema. Something about a fox. After the fox, Gina Romantica. Look it up. Classics. Yeah, so for this race, um, especially if you're going to put together a box, I, I would go one, nine, seven, maybe even throw in the two there. Uh, there's there's a couple good options, but but those are my top four. In a nine-horse okay. race, not too bad. I'm staying off of the, the favorites here, Tarabi and Favor. Uh, Goddess of Fire, okay, kind of a favorite for sure, but I'm staying off of the, the two in the middle. <clears throat> All right. Irrelevant metric race seven is the five horse sweet Solo solaire sweet solaire which if you uh translate and yeah I, and I speak spanish fairly well i won't i won't brag alone yeah way. yeah uh if you convert spanish to english on solaire it's sun right absolutely one spanish person who did most of his work only when the sun was down was the night stalker richard ramirez uh <sighs> And if you haven't looked into him, this is another one. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of, like, true crime and fun, no, no. old Dickie Ramirez would cut the screens out of the windows at, at midnight. People buying guns changed the world back there in uh, SoCal for a while. So you guys do your thing, and I'll do mine, and we'll go ahead. And what are we doing? Race 8 will go. Yeah. Race 8, deep field, uh, 15 horses we're talking about here. Yeah. Um, a lot of closers in this race, too, I might, I might add. Uh, not a lot of pace horses pace heavy horses from what i can see but a lot of horses that have closed this could be a really tough race here my top this is, yeah this is one you might want to save up you're gonna to have to find a single in the back half if you're gonna to want to play some pick fours and fives here Let's be this honest. is definitely not a couple the one to deep, right no right that's what i mean because you're gonna to have to go deep here unless you got a, if you got a uh you know a feeling that 
maybe you can pull a single out of here. I don't know, but I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, e- even with our formula, my top pick uh, also looks to be the chalk here. Mariski's affair. Got him as my top horse. Most of the formulas have him this t- as the top horse. After that, I'm going to the 12, getting 10 to 1 on Linda's gift. Probably one of the better closers, I would say, or one of the best in terms of gaining ground in the last uh, last half of the race. Got Flavian Pratt on the mount there. Really like that horse. I like the the speed numbers on that horse, especially at 10 to 1. Then moving over to the 11, Wonka, getting 9 to 2. I think that's another strong pick here. That's my top three, 3, 12, and 11. But, I mean, really, there's there's a few other horses out there that you could be taking. You could look at the 1. Uh, you could look at the the 8 even. There's a few horses here that are a bit higher up in class, like the four and the the nine. I mean, there's so many options out here in terms of setting up your exotics and setting up your uh, uh, your pick five, right? Yeah, that would be my top three: three, twelve, eleven, and then and then look for a couple other strong options out there. So race eight, a relevant metric. We're gonna go with the three oh horse, my risky affair, which was also your top choice, right? Oh, is that? <laughs> I'm like Marisky affair, my, my risky affair. Got it. Speaking of <laughs> risky affairs. Oh, okay. For it, over 40 years, Joseph D'Angelo eluded oh, capture God. for over 50 risky affairs. If you're not familiar with his work, uh, maybe look up the golden state killer or the uh, original night stalker. Go ahead. You, there's, there's a, you know, there's a documentary it, out there with him. I think uh, we can go point, ahead and move to race nine if you want, or you can, you can dwell uh, on it. It's up to you. If you want to dwell yeah. on that, it's fine. Yeah. I'm no, trying was, to push through it. Yeah. No, but I'm with you. I know I'm lot, with you. You know, not, not everybody wants to hear that stuff, but we're here okay, for the horse information. We're, we're pushing through it. We're pushing through it. <laughs> race nine, six yeah. furlongs. What do we have going on here? Um, me and my shadow. I've got, that's my top horse. Tyler Gaffleone, friend of the show, by the way, getting seven to Great two. Dude on me and my shadow. Uh, that's my top horse. I'm looking at the chalk. Then after that, I rad on just Cindy and then moving over to number nine. Oh, I hate going chalk again at three to one. Let me give you another one that I, I think might help out the, the cause a little bit. Mm. Yeah. I might go Janice Joplin as, as a fourth, just to get the 12 to one there. Um, looking for an improvement there. I'm Flavian Pratt, Mark Cassie. That could be your your next up horse. Which on a uh, sidebar, Janice Joplin was uh, my original irrelevant metric. Too yeah. easy though. Uh, I mean, if you're a fan of classic rock and roll music, and I'm not talking and just Waylon, yeah, Zeppelin, and I'm not talking Zeppelin and you know Pink Floyd here. I'm talking real classic rock, like 50s and 60s stuff. Uh, Woodstock was like the bar where everything was set. Janice Joplin sucks. She's gross, grotesque to look at. She's never showered in her life. She sucks. She's super overrated. This has nothing to do with the irrelevant metric. And I'm sure I'll get some haters for that, but she's the most overrated artist to ever live. Got up there and screamed and belted, drunk and on heroin or whatever the hell she was on. She's a pile of garbage, grotesque to look at. Skin looked like it hadn't been washed in 20 years. Go ahead. With, what was your choice though with her? Your third choice, Janice? And no, I was throwing her in as fourth. And I was actually going to say, if you're looking for a place to uh, to single, I would say that me and my shadow on this race would probably be the best choice in the late pick five. But um, yeah, for those of you who want to comment on El Hombre's thoughts on Janice Joplin, the comments are below. Feel free to scroll down to the bottom, insert your comments. With all of the greatness that came out of that Woodstock concert and era. I don't hate Janice Joplin Janice as Joplin? much as you do. Yeah. You Well, you don't like music. All right, we'll move. Uh, actually, race nine, the irrelevant metric. Whoa, whoa, I thought we'll we already got through that. Another, we'll, get whoa. Out, we'll, get, we'll get into jazz on another topic. We did a whole oh, show God. for that. Yeah. The coal train stuff and all that's garbage, too. But we'll get into that on another oh, day. God. All right, so God. the irrelevant Who's metric, race nine, I'll make it quick. You just Sweet had one. harmony. Okay. Sweet harmony. Go ahead. Speaking it's very music of... related. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. good. Speaking of sweet harmonies. R. Kelly delivered some of the greatest R&B slow jams back in the 90s. Let's move to You said you liked music. What is this R. Kelly BS? Oh, anyway, if you don't going, know, you don't going. know. I. What I'm has been the trend knowing. of the irrelevant metrics? Really, really bad people? If yeah. you don't know R. Kelly's story, then you don't know. But 
there's a reason why he's on this list with uh, the Night Stalker, BTK, and uh, Caligula. Race ten. Let's move. Wow. Last All race. Right. This is this is going pretty fast. I'm, I'm surprised. You're getting a lot of info, a lot of history data, a lot of horse racing data. Yeah, it, we'll we'll talk about the uh, amount of serial killers that we include in the next one too. Yeah, I the, think the old could, rule used to we could probably tighten that up a little bit. Just there hasn't fewer. been. There's only been technically, I think, four serial killers so far. The rest of them have, have been like either historical figures or uh -huh. like R. Kelly. He's not really a serial killer. He's just a child monster. Yeah. Um, oh, that's all. I don't know okay. if that qual. It, it's fine. We'll go to race ten. We, yeah. Let's not yeah. delay anymore. Go ahead. All right. Um, if this one gets cut down, it's 12 horses right now. If there's a lot of cuts here, this could be a place to to single a horse. I really like abuse of power here. I know it's jockey five to two. Um, it's not the most jockey in the race. Uh, Ricky the number Santana, 12. though. It's our guy. Yeah. Mama's got to yeah. run the 12. I have that as my number two. Not as hot on that horse as I am um, abuse of horse. power, though. Then we got Fast Corey. I also think Half Birthday, uh, the eight horse at 12 to one. If you're looking to, to pile in a few horses here for your your last leg of the pick five, I think that's a good way to go as well. In terms of class, it's uh, one of the higher class horses in the race. But um, my top pick is, is going to be Abuse of Power. Okay. Irrelevant metric. Last one. And I, I, oh, thank I really, God. I wanted to back off. Uh, it's the 12. Mama's got to run. <laughs> and then yeah, this could have went really run. dark. I'm not going to do it. No, good, good. I have an image to protect. Let's end on a high note. I have an image to protect. I want to <laughs> keep it classy. Uh, Mama's got to run. I'm going to let the people, you know, kind of make their own decision on that. I, you can guess where I was going to go, and it could have went real dark. It could have went real dark. So just guess? There's no, I don't want anybody just use your use your illusion, if you will. I don't want to do it because I want to keep it classy and I want to keep my my good name clean. OK, Um, so I didn't want to, you know, put it. I didn't want to taint this video because I feel like there's going to be a lot of new viewers that are really happy with, um, you know, this angle of relevant metrics. I did not want to taint that with yeah. a bad mama's got to run take yeah you're so. you're only making fans by all the topics that you're bringing oh god yeah here. i expect fully for 500 to a thousand unsubscribes tonight so let's let's hope yeah so where are you anything going else this, to then? close out oh What's okay that? that was it no yeah, i know I'm, I'm not doing else. it i actually no 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 i don't want to because i really actually thought that where i was going was a little too dark and i didn't want to it's kind of like okay. remember the sopranos everybody sure. bitched and moaned about the the finale of that Mm -hmm. When he goes into the restaurant, meets with the family, they're having a cutesy little family dinner. Right. And bang. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Guy walks in, looks like a hitman, yeah. shows dark. Yeah. I thought the ending was brilliant. A lot of people yeah. killed it. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. Why? People talked Why? about it. Why? Because what? you don't know. Cliffhanger. Yeah. You think what you thought. Of course, Tony got assassinated. He deserved it. He's a bad guy, drug dealer, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Or yeah. what, you know, maybe the guy went in there and handed him a fistful of $100 bills. Who knew? But it's up to yeah. you to make that decision. That's what I did with race uh, 10. Okay. That's well, it. Let's got to run. All right. That's, this that's pretty, all I this have. This feels pretty good to go back to the uh, to the roots. Yeah. For me. I'm, I'm glad you know. think that. Glad you think that. Hey, we, we might have else? some notes we go? between the two of us. No, we're good here, I think. And we're going to run I think Saratoga opening day was a good time to reintroduce the roots because sure. I think that we have, what do we have? 7,000 subscribers or whatever we have. Sure. Which thank you, by the way, everybody. Um, I think a, a good majority of them are not used to that type of uh, what kind of built us. Uh huh. Yeah. Early on. <laughs> so thanks everybody good. for putting up with it. And here's why for me and, um, that is uh, live footage of me and the way I feel about how everything went tonight. So, <laughs> you in any case, it. Saratoga, bro, let's go. Saratoga. This is I'm excited. We're gonna, we're, I think we're going to try to hit Saratoga at every card we can possibly hit. Maybe sans some Sundays because Sundays yeah. are tough. We are, are all tough. family men here. Got yep. jobs. Got lives. 
Sundays are a little tough. So some of us have serial killer documentaries to watch. I mean, oh, we've God. got all sorts of things on the plate, right? Yes, right. absolutely. Cecil hotel documentaries on in the background, by the way. So uh, we'll catch up with everybody later. Thanks everybody for watching and peace on earth.